Now to a new report from the Labor Department's Inspector General revealing that the Federal Jobs Corps program, the training program we always think about and talk about, is failing miserably, leaving the U.S. economy desperately short of skilled workers. It's one of the subjects in the Wall Street Journal's editorial board's latest piece detailing how the training program just hasn't delivered. The U.S. economy, of course, in desperate need of uh, skilled workers. The federal government claims it wants to help. Alas, uh, a new report from the Labor Department's uh, Inspector General shows that almost $2 billion in federal funding has been an absolute flop. Joining me now to discuss Kelly, Kelly Jane Torrance, a Weekly Standard Deputy Managing Editor, and back with us is Jillian Melcher. Jillian, I'm going to start with you since the Wall Street Journal's editorial board took this on. Another expensive flop. And of course, you know, some would argue we're, we've spent trillions on things like this since, you know, mm -hmm. since, um, the, the, you know, the, the idea of uh, the great society, you know, that we were going to go and fight poverty and pour trillions of dollars into it. And, and nothing works. Is it because the government is involved in this? Somehow you couldn't waste that kind of money. Well, it, it turns out you can, unfortunately. And I think this is a really good example of how uh, once it becomes a part of the federal government, bad programs never die. Um, this is not a new issue. I mean, there have been several inspector general reports over the years pointing out that we're investing, it's more than $33,000 per participant in training, and that they're coming out, and in many cases, they're ending up in the same job that they were in before, or they're ending up um, doing something that's totally unrelated to their training. And I think one of the more disturbing parts of what the inspector general has found is that they're not even being kept safe. Many of these uh, training programs have had really horrific incidents, right. and Jobs Corps just hasn't done much about it. Kelly Jane, uh, and it's, at the same token, you know, we talk often in this country about this uh, a tremendous uh, skills gap. Every industry, a every organization, from small businesses to large businesses, from they, everyone needs everything from welders to wildcatters to, to carpenters. We're, we we have a housing shortage. I mean, across the board. We don't have skilled workers. I mean, who then who steps up and fills that void? Yeah, it's a great question, Charles. And just studies have shown that actually local, state, and especially local programs do a much better job of training people and getting them into, you know, into employment and into better employment than the federal government. And of course, when you have a national program, the federal government doesn't know what is going on and what's needed in every locality. They often will tell people that they need to move to find work, which maybe they do, but maybe they don't. The federal government really doesn't know what's happening on the ground. And that's why these federal programs tend to fail. And if you look, the studies show that more local jobs training programs tend to have much better results. They know in those areas what kind of people are needed and what right. kind of training they need. Well, I tell you what, we need to, we've got to stop wasting this money. And not just wasting the money, but wasting the opportunities. I think they're all a farce, though. 